Good morning, morning Centurions. Today's weather is sunny with a high of 69. Today for lunch we are having pizza cheese sticks. For vegetables we are having marinara cup or apple e fruit and veggies. And for fruit, apple slices. On this day in 1989, the Exxon and Valdez spill, the largest in U.S. history, struck on the coast of Alaska, spilling 38 million gallons of crude oil. For an interesting fact, you're more likely to die from a falling coconut than a shark attack. The Pancake Supper is next Thursday, 3.15 to 6.30. Come out and support your teachers and friends. Also, at the Pancake Supper is the book fair. Go find a great book to get stuck in. For our NCAA fact, do you know that NCAA athletes don't get paid even though the NCAA is a multi-billion dollar business? Today is an early release day. Only four hours left. And here is Braden talking about Louise Adams. Have a, Have great, a great weekend, weekend Centurions. Louise Adams was born February 12th, 1775 in London. She died May 15th, 1852 in Washington, D.C. Her husband was John Quincy Adams. She married on July 26, 1797. Though she, she was a skilled hostess, she suffered from a series of illnesses and recurring depression, which coupled with the loss of several children led to her increasingly withdrawal from public life while first lady. She wrote a book, A Traveled First Lady. She had four children, Charles Francis Ad Adams, Sir George Washington Adams, um, John Adams II, and L Louise Adam Adams. I have those shooting on the street with Macy Curtis. What grade are you in? Sixth grade. What's your favorite animal? Llama. What sports do you play? Soccer. Who's your favorite teacher? Mr. Shore. Thank you. Thank you. Back with the joke of the day. So why did the strawberry start crying? Because his mom was in a jam. Ah. <laughs> I got one for you. What did the mustard say to the mayonnaise? I don't know what. You have to find out Monday.